What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here with another Dell Optiplex 3010 small foam factor and I'm going to be upgrades. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to move the... I'm going to show you guys the front. Yeah, this is the Dell Optiplex 3010 small foam factor. So you're going to move it to the other side like this. You guys can see better. So what I'm going to do is remove the side cover panel. And guys, I'm going to be upgrading for light gaming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be upgrading the, I'm going to be upgrading the, video, uh, the memory. For, and from hard drive to solid state drive and upgrade, upgrading the video card to GTX 1050 Ti low profile I'll show you how to do that uh, the power supply in here is uh, it's 240 watts so it'll work perfectly fine for light gaming you don't have to upgrade it's a small phone factor and it's a 240 watt power supply so the GTX 1050 Ti will work perfectly fine so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to start off from the from the upgrading hard drive and show you how to do that and what you're going to do is disconnect the SATA and power and remove the optical drive there's a little clip right here you press it up like this and slides out and we're going to be upgrading from the hard drive to solid state drive and you're going to disconnect the SATA and power cable right here and the hard drive cage here and it's got a little secure clip right here so what you do is you take your finger you press it to the left to unlock it right means locked left means unlocked and the hard drive K, uh, the cage will live you can lift up like this and to move the uh, hard drive caddy it's plastic here you just take your fingers like this and it slides out and you're going to disconnect the hard drive 3.5 inch it's from the plastic caddy here like this and it comes right out now I want to be upgrading guys is to soul state drive and uh, you can use this plastic uh, solid state drive caddy. You can just go online, order this number. Let me zoom in the camera, you guys can see better. The model, uh, the part number is 0FMT3P. I'm going to zoom in the camera better, you guys can see better. So 0FMT3P. And this is the part number for the 3.2 from 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch solid state drive that you're going to be installing right here and this is the hard, this is for the solid state drive caddy any 2.5 inch solid state drive will work you just mount two screws on each side and I'll show you guys it doesn't matter if you get in the any kind of solid state drive will work like a 2.5 inch right here and this is the same 2.5 inch and this is a little bit thicker but it'll still work perfectly fine so what well, you should just go at least 228 128 gigs Solid state drive, I just recommend going at least 250 or 256 minimum. So what you do is you take this uh, caddy right here from solid state drive. It's 2.5, 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch. And you're going to install it like this from 3.5 inch. Connects it next to it like this. And you're done. And you can, if you guys do want to use a solid state drive, you can still use a laptop 2.5 inch hard drive. Will still work in here. You can install perfectly fine. So that's how you install it. And we're gonna install it back to plastic hard drive caddy to the hard drive cage like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect the SATA cable and power cable back to the solid state drive before you installing it. And we're going to install it back. And the secure clip, you're going to press to the right with your finger to lock it. Now we're going to install back the optical drive. If you guys are not going to be using the optical drive, then you can install another solid state drive like this. Perfectly fine. And you just use this two sided foam tape right here, and you connect the SATA right here. And you can buy the Y splitter cable. They will give you the Y splitter that you connect it right here and it'll give you another extension right here. So you connect the SATA cable, SATA power to the solid state drive. You can install right if you're not gonna be using an optical drive like this, you can install another solid state drive, but because this only has two SATA ports here, so you can install another solid state drive right here on the top if you want. If you're not gonna be using the optical drive, perfectly fine. Right here, I don't recommend using the installer one right here. But you could do that if you want, but I just don't recommend it. And but you can just install it right here, be perfectly fine. And so let me go ahead and install it back the optical drive. Connect the SATA and power. 
and that's how you do it. Now we're gonna do, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys disconnect the stadium power, and we're gonna be upgrading the memory. And to do that is this little clip right here. You press it down with your finger. And this is another clip right here, white clip. Be really careful generally and the memory comes out. I'm going to be upgrading to DDR3 guys, uh, 1600, but you can use DDR3, 1333, 90cc and buffer memory. The memory guys I like is uh, Corsair, Kingston and Crucial. Those are top three brands I like. And if you guys are going to be using for gaming on Windows 10, then just go at least uh, 8 gigs will work perfectly fine. Dual channel, 8 gigs. Again, DDR3 1333 or DDR3 1600 9 cc for desktop memory. And I'm gonna, be, I go, I recommend going the Corsair, Kingston, Crucial. Those are top three brands I like. And we'll upgrade the memory, guys. Uh, DDR3 uh, to 16 gigs. That's uh, 8 gig per each slot. And now I'm gonna install back to our hard drive cage back. And let me go ahead and. Uh, Get the hard drive cage back, install it here. And I'm gonna connect this SATA and power. And you're gonna install it back. Because when you install the hard drive caddy install already and you cannot get the cables in real hard so you have to unlock like this, remove a little bit so you can install it first before you lock it back into the hard drive cage. And you're gonna install back the secure clip right here. Left means unlocked, right means locked. Hard drive cage right here to lock it. Now we're gonna install back the optical drive and install the SATA and power cable and will be the last part guys is the video card I'm gonna switch it to the other side like this and you're gonna move the little right here little bra little clip right here latch for the PCI bracket it's a low profile you're gonna move the two PCI brackets right here the low profile because it's using two slots the video card and the video card guys I'm going to be using is a uh, Gigabyte Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. This is a low profile, 4 gigs. I'm going to show you the back side. And this is the back side. So this is a GTX 1050 Ti low profile. This is 4 gigs. And uh, you get a. Uh, so here's the video card. And you get a both a low profile bracket that you have to install this because when you get the video card, they give you a full high bracket. This is for the mini tower right here. But if you guys are gonna be running small phone factor or desktop, the DT, it's using a low profile bracket that you have to install, but you have to just have to remove it. It's really easy. It's held by the three screws here. It's got a display port, two HDMI ports, and a DVI port. And what you do is just remove the use the little mini pliers. I'll show you guys, let me see where the pliers are at. And just use the mini pliers to remove the, the screws here, two right here, and the three screws right here with this Phillips screwdriver you're gonna remove to install the low profile bracket. So that's all you have to do. So let me go ahead and install the video card. And we're gonna be installing through the PCI Express times 16 slot right here, the top one, that's when we install the video card. So video card is installed. Now you're gonna take this little little latch right here before hold the secure club right here for the PCI bracket and locks it down. Then you're done. Uh, make sure that the wires are not sticking out in the bottom. Right here for the front audio right here, the USB there could be sticking out. So make sure you try to tuck them down so they're not gonna be uh, sticking out, touching the fan. Be really careful. See right here, I don't have any wires sticking out there in the bottom. Because if they are, that's gonna block out the fan. Blank, the fan could be stop stop working. So be really careful. Uh, to do that, then we're done. So we guys, we upgraded the video card, the memory, 
to total 16 gigs and we upgraded from hard drive to solid state drive and this is for gaming and if you guys are going to be using it for uh for gaming then you you work perfectly fine it's a 240 watt power supply this will be perfectly it should be fine and what you're going to do is uh install the side cover panel and you're done and what you're going to do is you're going to plug in the monitor here back to the video card and go to nvidia.com website and get the latest drivers for the if you guys are going to be using the same video card then you just go to nvidia.com and get the latest drivers for it for if you can run a windows 10 perfectly fine get to install the driver 64 bit for the video card connect the monitor and restart the computer and so you're going to put the side cover back on like this and you're done if you guys are going to be running where it's a hot temperature in the area where it's really hot then what you're going to do is remove the side cover panel and you can see this little little sensor right here this means the the side cover panel is open warns you but if you can just take use a tape right here like this and if you want the video card one lot cooler then you can just do that perfectly fine uh, you run the machine without a video uh, without the side cover panel like this will be perfectly fine so guys this is the end of the video this is for the dell uh, optiplex 3010 small foam factor let me close the side cover panel and we're done so guys uh thanks for watching Bye.